This is Barry Zelma speaking for Claim School Incorporated's blog, Zelma on Insurance. Today we're going to speak about why admitting to facts that establish an exclusion in a verified that is a sworn complaint is fatal to your claim. And it is never wise to burden an appellate court with multiple frivolous motions when you're dealing with a long-term water leak that was clearly and unambiguously excluded. After appellant Doña Entertainment Inc. noticed a very significant water intrusion in a restaurant it had owned and operated for several months, Doña submitted a claim to its insurer Farmers Insurance Exchange. Farmers denied the claim, asserting it was not covered under Doña's policy. Doña sued Farmers, alleging Farmers' insufficient investigation of the claim before denying it. Farmers moved for summary judgment, arguing that the policy excluded unambiguously claims for water seepage that had been occurring for 14 days or more. And the undisputed evidence demonstrated that the water seepage had been occurring for at least a year. The trial court granted farmers' motion holding there could be no liability for a defective investigation if there was no coverage under the policy. In Doña Enterprises v. Farmers Insurance Exchange, an October 27, 2023 decision of the California Court of Appeals, the Court of Appeals dealt with multiple incompetent appellate motions and ruled in favor of farmers. In May of 2020, Doña sued farmers alleging that Doña operated a franchise restaurant in Rancho Cucamonga. Doña claimed it purchased the operation from Bacon Up Corporation in July of 2019. Doña alleged that Bacon Up had an insurance policy issued by farmers when it operated the restaurant, and that Doña had also insured itself with farmers under a different policy number, which provided coverage for Doña with respect to losses caused by water intrusion. Several months after Doña began operating the restaurant, a very significant experience of water intrusion occurred adversely affecting the kitchen and dining areas. Doña submitted a claim to farmers. Doña also alleged that during that time, it learned the restaurant had experienced similar water intrusion during the ownership and operation of Bacon Up, and the Bacon Up had made alterations to the physical structure of the flooring in relation to that previous water intrusion. In July of 2020, Farmers filed its verified or sworn answer to the complaint uh, alleged by Doña. And then in February of 2021, Farmers moved for summary judgment. As to Doña's claim, in, on its own insurance policy, farmers contended there can be no tort liability in the absence of coverage, and the undisputed material facts established that no coverage exists under the policy for Doña's claim. Farmers claimed that the water leaking had been going on for at least a year before plaintiff reported it. As to Doña's claim against farmers on Bacon Up's policy, farmers argued convincingly, the obvious that a third-party claimant cannot sue the insurer of its litigation adversary for breach of contract or bad faith or failure to properly investigate. Relevant here are the backup of sewers and drains coverage endorsement and the limited coverage for fungi, wet, rot, dry, rotten bacteria. The former added coverage for water that backs up or overflows from your sewer or drain and deleted a provision in the exclusion section excluding such coverage. 
The latter also added an exclusion for continuous or repeated seepage or leakage of water that occurs over a period of 14 days or more. Farmers also submitted declarations from three employees of the restaurant who had been employed when it was operated by Bacon Up. Each of these employees attested that Bacon Up had concealed from Doña physical defects that existed at the franchise location, including a very serious water leak coming up from under the slab in the kitchen area going out to the first table in the dining area. These declarations corroborated allegations in Doña's federal complaint that prior to Doña's purchase of the restaurant, the restaurant building was contaminated from sewage spills through failing plumbing, and such details were concealed from Doña in its sworn pleading, Doña admitted that the claim it submitted on its own policy alleged that the previous owner of the restaurant location intentionally tampered with the subject restaurant's location plumbing, causing the dysfunction resulting in the loss suffered by Doña, but claimed this would be a covered loss. That sworn statement worked to prove the exclusion applied the court granted farmers' motion. Finally, the court found that Doña's provided no evidence to suggest a claim against farmers for denying the claim on the Bacon Up policy. The judgment was therefore affirmed. Respondent, the Farmers Insurance Exchange, was awarded its cost on appeal and additionally, a sanction of $6,466 was awarded against Doña's counsel only, Mr. Amir Pasha Vafel, only for filing frivolous motions to the Court of Appeal. When I was a young adjuster in the years 1968 to 1972, I had to advise insureds that there could be no coverage for losses due to water intrusion that had continued for more than 14 days. It was a logical exclusion to help an insured understand its need to properly maintain the property. No one was happy with the decision. Doña admitted in its pleading, plus the testimony of three of its employees, that the water leaks had been going on for more than a year before the claim was made. The decision of the trial court was affirmed, and because Doña's counsel was punished for using frivolous or inept motions to the court of appeal on a case where the insured and insurer obviously knew there was no coverage, seems to be appropriate to me. This video was adapted from my blog, Zelma on Insurance, which is available free to anyone who clicks on the URL zelma.com slash blog. You can subscribe to the blog, and you will receive notice of every blog posting, usually five, sometimes six a week. And you can also subscribe to the videos on YouTube or on rumble.com. And if you do, I'd appreciate it if you click on the like button on YouTube and the thumbs up button on rumble.com. And if you're interested in more detail on insurance, insurance law, insurance claims, and insurance fraud, please consider for a very small fee subscribing to my Substack publication or my local's community. Thank you for your attention.